Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a snack recipe. This dish my husband made a couple of times and different variations. So today I thought of sharing this vegetarian lollipops, not the chicken lollipops. We are going to make with cauliflower a nice excellent lollipops. Here I have the gobi dear friends, that is the cauliflower. Take the cauliflower and cut the cauliflower into nice flower, big flowerets like this. And even you need to have the stem also a little bit longer like this. So what we are going to do is we are going to put these flowers in the water. We are going to slightly boil them in the water. So here I have the water which I just kept it ready. Now I am going to put this in the water. We are going to add very little salt. So you can just boil it for 2 to 3 minutes and switch off the flame. So by the time what we are going to do is here I have a plate and in this I am going to use some boiled potato. What I am going to do is I am going to mash this potato dear friends. This boiled potato we are going to coat to our gobi and make it even more like you know our lollipops. We are going to give a lollipop shape with this mashed potato. In this finely chopped onions you can add half or one onion depending upon the quantity and very little salt. See that you don't have any aloo pieces. Mash it and keep this aside. Now to make the slurry here I have some cornstarch. You can take one tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of all purpose flour equal quantities and also little bit of sugar, some vinegar and very little of baking powder dear friends and also some chili paste for spiciness. We are going to mix this by adding some water. We are going to make a thick slurry and here the cauliflower is boiled. I'm just going to remove this. Once you boil the cauliflower dear friends, they glow like anything. And when I was a kid, I never used to like the cauliflower because of the smell. When you boil it, you'll get a you know, different smell. If you boil cabbage and you know, uh, cauliflower, you get a different kind of smell. With that smell, you don't like to eat it. But try different variations, then you will love it. So we're going to remove all the water and just use the cauliflower. So keep this aside. We are going to add water and make this a paste. Thick slurry. So friends here you can see our batter is perfect. It's nice and thick. It should coat your spoon when you try to coat it. It should be like this. So this is also ready. And now what we are going to do is we are going to add very little of pepper powder to the aloo mixture and mix it once to give nice spicy spicy touch. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flour and coat this. Let your cauliflower rest for some time dear friends then you can coat it. And this is ready. Keep aside. Just coat the edges down so that we get the shape of the lollipop. And then if you need to cover the you know cauliflower then you can cover it. I'm going to make a couple of them and then we are going to dip it in the batter and fry them. So friends here you can see I have sizes of lollipops that too cauliflower lollipops. So you can see I have sealed the gaps dear friends in the side and in the center the entire flower you can see and this is ready. Now we are going to dip this in our batter gently coat it and drop it in the oil. One more see just drop it pour the mixture on top of this and slowly lift it and drop it. If you don't want to coat the stem, you can leave the stem dear friends. Just the you know flower part you can coat it and drop it. And we are going to deep fry till we get a nice color and then serve it hot hot with any sauce. Even you can use tomato ketchup also or some mayonnaise. Because we added soda, this will slightly puff up. So friends, our vegetable lollipops are getting ready. You can see these are nicely colored. We'll get slightly sweet touch because we added the sugar and slightly sourness because we added vinegar. All the flavors are there in this lollipop, dear friends. That too, vegetarian lollipops, you can see. 
only thing the stem is little bit small but you know if you can try to cut the stem little bit longer then you can hold it and have it see it will be crispy 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 and crunchy and tasty mm. Mm. my mouth is full of watery dear friends i'm going to fry this also i'm going to let it sit for one minute and then i'm going to have otherwise your mouth may burn so we don't want our tongue to burn so dear friends this is slightly rested and let's have the chicken lollipop mm just give an acting of eating like chicken mm it's slightly spicy slightly sour ah inside the cauliflower is also nice and soft it's not you know overcooked i can still feel the bite it's like al dente it should be like that mm what did i say chicken lollipop oh sorry it's not chicken lollipop it's gobi that is cauliflower mm, lollipop i'm telling you you will thoroughly enjoy and your family will say what a food what an awesome you know lollipop dear friends you need to try this dish everybody will say whatever i hope you enjoyed this very simple dish of cauliflower lollipop not chicken lollipop just try like you're eating as a chicken lollipop see you in another session with some more recipes but don't forget to share it make it feed your family fresh food